Hello everybody and welcome to Historical Journeys. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. One of the most well-known ancient mysteries in the world is the Nazca Lines, a collection of enormous geoglyphs in the Peruvian coastal plain about 250 miles south of Lima, Peru. Between 500 BCE and 500 AD, people made them by making shallow incisions or depressions in the floor of the desert and removing pebbles and living dirt of various colors. Using cutting-edge AA technology, a group of researchers at Yamagata University announced the discovery of 143 new geoglyphs in November 2019 and 168 more in December 2022. The designs feature a variety of animals, people in various poses, animals eating humans, and bizarre mythical humanoid figures. We also see long, straight lines that run across the landscape, even over hills and into valleys, making each geoglyph unique. In his book, The Cronica del Peru, published in 1553, Pedro Cesar de Leon referred to them as trail markers, which is when they became known to the general public for the first time. In 1596, Luis Rainstorm detailed seeing the remaining parts of streets in the Peruvian desert, until military and civilian planes began to fly over Nazca at the beginning of the 20th century. The full extent of the geoglyphs was only visible from nearby hills and birds. However, Eric von Daniken's well-known book and the fact that they were visible from the sky sparked wild speculation in the 1960s that they were made by ancient astronauts or extraterrestrials. The Nazca line phenomenon receives a lot of attention in Chariots of the Gods. However, a single episode of Ancient Aliens will demonstrate that such notions are merely fantasies rather than actualities. Yes, according to ancient astronaut theorists, but the reason for the creation of such geoglyphs remains a mystery. Yes, we know how, but the why has sparked decades of discussion and speculation. They have been interpreted as religious symbolism and as ceremonial walkways by some. They've been called an astronomical calendar by others. Yes, some people do actually believe that they served as UFO landing strips. Masato Sakai, a scientist from Yamagata College, one individual who has been attempting to find the new geoglyphs has given his opinion. He said, I'm keen on letters. Alphabets are used by everyone. I wanted to learn how the Andean people communicated because they didn't have that method of communication. The researcher is now persuaded that the Nazca lines were used for communication and navigation by prehistoric people. For instance, people can use the linear Nazca lines at the beginning and end of straight paths to move from one value to another. Numerous pictorial geoglyphs can be found on hillsides, sending a message to people who are passing by or looking at the landscape from the top of hills. Naturally, looking up is the best way to see the Nazca lines. However, we shouldn't forget that we can also see them from hillsides. Additionally, some of them are visible from ground level. Therefore, it's possible that they serve as communication and navigational devices after all. Markers in the landscape that inform people of things like who lives here, what they might see in a particular direction, the natural dangers they might encounter, and so forth. It is still a hypothesis in its infancy, and there is no specific study or detailed information available at this time. However, I find it particularly intriguing because it seems plausible to me. For the past two decades, Yamagata University researchers have been studying the Nazca lines and making new discoveries. As a result, they have a good chance of recognizing patterns and making connections. However, Sakai's explanation of the earlier Paracas geoglyphs, which are mostly on hillsides and can be seen from ground level inside valleys and from hilltops, could explain that there was more than one culture behind the Nazca lines. The earlier Paracas and the later Nazca, the later and more well-known Nazca lines are often found on low-lying land, making them much more difficult to see. Therefore, it's possible that over time, the purpose of the Nazca lines evolved into messages to the gods, such as requesting rainwater, fertile land, and so forth. If the earlier Nazca lines were accurate, they would have allowed for human-to-human -human communication and navigation. 
and later versions might have allowed for more ritualistic or spiritual contact between humans and their gods. 20 in this video, I'll play Adrian von Zeller's music over a selection of new geoglyph finds made by Yamagata University since 2019. Leave a comment below and tell us what you think. If you like the video, give it thumbs up. As always, subscribe to our channel to see more great videos. Thanks for watching.